Everything has to be redone. <laughs> One more time. I forgot. <laughs> Can you tell us your name and what you do, what you do at Fairphone? Uh, so my name is Maarten and I'm a senior software engineer uh, at Fairphone as part of the software longevity team. Yeah. Nice. And I know that as part of the software longevity team and everything at Fairphone, you were involved with the Fairphone 2. Is that correct? Yeah, that's, that's very true from the very beginning. <laughs> uh, yeah, from the very beginning. What does that mean to you? Like, what does the Fairphone 2 mean to you? Wow, what does the Fairphone 2 mean to me? I mean, to me, it's really, you know, Fairphone's real serious attempt at tackling um, different kinds of software uh, uh, issues in the smartphone uh, uh, ecosystem, basically, or Android ecosystem specifically, perhaps. Um, issues that I was personally quite frustrated about before I joined Fairphone, and it's the whole reason why I, why I joined Fairphone, basically. And, uh, you know, all these years later, uh, at the end of uh, Fairphone 2's uh, life, I think we, uh, you know, we've, we've done... Um, some pretty cool things with Fairphone 2 and um, uh, I'm kind of proud that uh, that I've been able to to, to work on those uh, on those things during my time here uh, and for sure they've also served as a uh, you know it's, it's Fairphone 2 is really a stepping stone for for the Fairphone 3, Fairphone 4 any other future devices you know it really allowed us to learn um, about uh, software longevity basically yeah. Nice. Well, okay. So you mentioned um, the end of life of the Fairphone 2, right? What does that mean, end of life for the Fairphone 2? Uh, from a software support perspective, it means that uh, we will just stop releasing software updates uh, for Fairphone 2, basically. Um, those software updates, well, I mean, the, the vast majority of, of, of them that we've done uh, revolve around uh, security. Uh, so I think every single update that we released out of 43 or something, if I remember correctly, contained one or more security uh, yeah. patches. But besides that, there's also other functionality and uh, that gets added or bugs that need to be fixed. And then, of course, um, uh, Android upgrades, um, yeah. some of them were. And these 43 updates, what was the span of those updates in years? How long did you give it software support? Over seven years. I mean, oh. uh, Fairphone 2 was first shipped at the end of December uh, 2015. Yeah. Um, and the final software update will be released in March. Uh, 2023. Yeah. And is that a standard? Do all companies do that? No, most certainly not. Definitely not in the in the uh, in the Android ecosystem. I mean, back then when we started out with Fairphone 2, I think uh, devices were supported on average maybe well, if you were lucky, I think you know to to two and a half years. But I think worst worst cases were uh, worst case examples are devices that just never received any software updates. Perhaps. Oh, really? Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I mean. Uh, uh, you know, so I think with, with over seven years of software support uh, for a device from 2015, we've done quite well. Yeah. And luckily, we see that throughout those years, uh, on average, uh, software support has improved uh, in the industry. So it's yeah. possible to get uh, devices now with three to five years of, uh, of software support. Do you think Fairphone has a little something to do there, maybe? Of course. Of <laughs> yeah. course. <laughs> nice. This is the Fairphone 2 for reference, right? I think a lot of you are familiar, but if you're not, then um, here we have one. And yeah, I mean, this was kind of like uh, your baby in a way, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit maybe about, um, I mean, it's been a journey, of course, right? Seven years of software support and, and just having that in the market and kind of like, I guess, an industry first in a way, but yeah. What are some challenges that you guys had to overcome this, or even to make this possible? Yeah, I think um, the biggest the biggest challenge that we had to overcome is the fact that um, the, you know there's a the, the core component of, of any smartphone is the uh, is the chipset, the system on chip, um, and when that goes end of life by its vendor, you're basically on your own with regards to software support. And uh, yeah, from there on out, like we really had to find our own way in order to make this this extended software support uh, mm -hmm. or this above average software support uh, happen. And and that was that took a lot of like trial and error, especially the the first upgrade without chipset vendor support from Android six to Android seven. Th yeah, that was that was a crazy project, um, yeah. but still the same thing applied to um, the other two upgrades that we did afterwards, like Android nine and Android ten. But you know, 
along the way you're starting to get the hang of it but it's still it's still a crazy endeavor that yeah. that no one else ever managed to uh, but then also i'm assuming you have a really big team working on this as well or how, why why would you say it was yeah, also extra i wish i wish i yeah. i think uh, i mean throughout the years uh, many colleagues have, have come and go uh, and we've worked with several uh, external parties as well throughout the years but uh, i mean yeah, for sure at any given point in time never there were more than 10 people working never on the software. Never more than 10 people yeah, working on the time. software. And I, th I think perhaps, uh, well, mm -hmm. only I think during the uh, initial development of Airphone 2, so before it came out, but, but afterwards, I don't think there were ever more than 10 people at the same wow. time involved in software support. What is it like normally for other phone companies, just for reference? Like um, maybe. Uh, yeah. uh, difficult to give an estimate there but uh, yeah. uh they work with much bigger teams yeah. for sure with dozens of dozens of people i think it's definitely more than 10 people yes <laughs> yes yes i i i, I hope so <laughs> yeah <laughs> what does it take um to keep the software support going for as long as possible on the chipset level uh what does it take i think i think especially a lot of uh perseverance and and, and commitment uh especially and and that's you know, those were the only things I think that we were armed with when we started this whole endeavor. I, I think like back then, the software team had the ambition to support three to five years, because this, this, was not, this was not shared within management or it wasn't a company goal or anything. We merely had an ambition and, and we also didn't want to make it a goal because, you know, we had for certain, sure not such, done such a thing before and uh, neither had the industry. Um, so yeah, what does it take? I think, uh, you know, besides of course, all kinds of, you know, technical, technical inventions and, 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 and whatnot, I think, um, I think most importantly, the, the commitment and the, and the perseverance. Yeah. Right. So what do you think, what is, or maybe you can tell me what is then the new standard at Fairphone for software support for the new devices? Uh, I think uh, Fairphone 2 uh, has helped us to claim uh, seven years of software support for Fairphone 3 and also for Fairphone uh, 4, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So, I mean, then it definitely yeah, set up the stepping stones yeah. for, for the next devices. Yeah, yeah true. Sure. Yeah, it, it went from just a mere ambition, three to five years. Let's see how far we get. Yeah. Um, but the results were, were quite nice, I think, and that really helped us. Uh, yeah, it was really a stepping stone for other devices. All right, so Martin, where do we go from here now that, you know, Fairphone 2 has come to its end of life? What's next? Uh, what's next? Well, yeah, Fairphone 2, end of life. I mean, yeah, first of all, um, uh, of course, we're going to stop software support. And uh, without software support, it becomes less and less secure as you use the device. Um, but I'm pretty sure that we'll see some, some community members who will continue to go strong. Um, being active on the forum, um, installing uh, an alternative OS on their on their Fairphone 2. And uh, first of all, I'm just also really curious uh, to, uh, you know, to see what our community will, will still do. Or perhaps, I don't know, uh, alternative uses for, for, for the device that don't involve internet connectivity, for example, to keep it a bit more, uh, more secure. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it, I'm for sure that... Um, that there will be some nice surprises uh, this year still. Yeah, no, that's really cool that so many people are going to continue using this seven-year-old phone because, yeah. I mean, as we know, that really reduces like their their impact, right? And um, I also heard that uh, there's someone else doing uh, making these like batteries for electric bikes out of the Fairphone 2 battery parts and things like that. Oh which wow, is, I, I didn't even hear yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's, yes, it's yeah. really cool that it's not only going to just you know, end here. It's going to actually yep. continue, as you said, in many different uses. So that's yeah, true. That's really cool. Do you have any last words or, I don't know, anything you want to say to the Fairphone 2 maybe or anything about it that you want to let us know? Um, yeah, no, I, I just think that, yeah, most of all, it has been uh, an amazing ride. And uh, I mean, uh, you know, I've worked with many people uh, throughout all those years. Um, and all together, we, um, yeah, I think we really achieved some, uh, some cool things. And, you know, at the same time, it's also definitely not perfect what we did. And, and there's still a lot of room for improvement, but you have to start somewhere. And I think we definitely made some steps and, and we'll be able to continue uh, with our other devices. So, um, yeah, um, Fairphone 2, uh, Stepping Stone, 
um, lots of hacking around, but um, uh, definitely a great project uh, that, uh, yeah, that, that helps us for, 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 for the future. <laughs>